Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Destiny, here, and I'm coming to you guys with a really quick video about the Hourglass Ambient Light Palette, uh, the little collection that I'm growing, as well as a couple other products that I have that are comparable, and a couple of products that I would call dupes. Now, I don't want to go ahead and call every shiny powder a dupe to these hourglass powders and I'm not even a product worshiper I'm not one of those people who are gonna argue because this is close and that's not and this is a shimmer and that's a satin and it's just, all I'm going to say is that I've tried a lot of different powders I have a lot of different powders and um, not many of them are as finely milled as undetectable as light as beneficial to your skin tone complexion texture as the hourglass lights are a lot of the ones i have do have really cool benefits to the hourglass ambient light. And the fact of the matter is that I had this one first. I'll probably put a video in the bottom bar of me first getting this years and years and years ago, years ago, maybe five years ago. Um, and this right here is awesome. This, I, like I said, I found before the ambient lights and I was in love with this. I remember being in New York on 34th and 6th, the Sephora right there as you cut out of Harold Square. And I remember this was a new product and I went in and one of the artists who always attacks me when I go into Sephora, the person who is responsible for my makeup forever addiction, was like, girl, you gotta try this. And I was just like, okay, you know, I'm, I'm always down to be makeup guinea pig. So he pulled me in and he put this powder on my face and I looked in the mirror and I said, yeah, cute, nice, you know, I'm glowing, whatever. By the time I got some, from Sephora to the corner where Dunkin' Donuts is, people were on me. Oh my God, what are you doing with your skin? What do you use? What foundation is that? What makeup? What, 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 what? I turned around and I bought it. And I used it a few times and loved it and reveled in it and put it away for years. You know how makeup goes, but let me just go ahead and show you the powder right here. This is the Duop and this is called Madaloom and this is in the shade Darker. Now, as you, I'm not sure if you can see the texture. I will have a close up for you guys, but you can just see the brilliance, the soft radiance that this just, it's beautiful and I like the fact that this is a taupey color and this is more of a brownie cafe color I have not to give you the finger but I have you guys pulled in so tight so you can see the type of light that it gives excuse my ashy fingers I do my makeup with my hands freshly washed with no moisturizer you know um, this is just beautiful and excuse me because you guys know I don't look at my face when I film but I want to show you exactly how it works now my face is already glowing I just wanted to show you the very soft very natural undetectable well blended it's not a glitter it's not a shimmer it's not a sparkle but it's definitely noticeable and it's beautiful so again, this is Duop Matte Lumen Darker. I just wanted, in, wanted to introduce you to these shades. This is something you can apply down here. And it'll really just catch that light and be amazing. 
Now this is the type of face that you look at and you go, okay, now did this girl do this on purpose? Does she know that she's glowing? Does she know that she's radioactive? She's driving me crazy? Or is she born with it? Does she have one a little bit of BB cream? Did she roll out of bed this way? Or did she work? Next up, I have cover effects and this is lighting effects. This is a powder. And I purchased this a few years ago as well before I even moved out to California from Sephora. It was on sale, it was like $7 and change and I was just collecting makeup. And I was like, great, a high-end makeup brand has something that I can buy for seven or eight dollars. I'm in Sephora, I'm young and I'm broke and I want makeup. So I get this and I bring it home thinking that it is a Makeup Forever type setting powder thinking it's a derma blend type setting powder and I put it over my makeup and I was absolutely amazed at how flawless it made my skin appear. This powder actually is even more finely milled than the um, hourglass I would have to say and this is the type of thing that you sweep over your pores, you sweep over uneven skin texture and it gives the absolute most brilliant diffused blown out soft I woke up like this I went to sleep like this I was born like this type of smooth radiant glow and it sets your makeup so I'm very excited about this powder very happy that I kept it because I actually planned to take it back but because it wasn't super matte it does have a light reflective quality to it. It's not a matte, super matte powder. It's not a um, fixing powder like the, like MAC has. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but again, this is translucent mineral powder and it's called Setting Effects Light. This right here is a Terra bronzer and I just did a video showing how I use these bronzers, setting powders, um, they are wet, dry, mineral based, and amazing. And there is a crow outside my window. I'm not sure if you can hear him yet because I'm using my microphone, but he's driving me crazy. He's driving me. So this is the medium, and I love this because this can be used as a blush, it can be used as a highlighter, it can be used as a bronzer. It's very soft, it's very, very finely milled, and it has that same type of undetectable glow essence that um, the rest of the powders I've been showing you have. This is medium. I have light, medium, and dark. I have dark on my face in this area, and you can see that it gives a bronzer blushy glow. It's just amazing. And if you are very, very deeply complected, and you wanna give your face a little bit of a glow, a sheen, a bronzer type effect, this is beautiful. Um, it's deep, it's more of a cool tone, but it's not super red. Like I said, you can use these wet or dry as a blush or a bronzer or a setting powder, and it will give your face just absolutely everything that it needs, I'm sure. The one that I'm demonstrating right now is the light, and it's a little bit more of a pinky tone but can be used as a blush, can be used as a bronzer, can be used as a highlighter. That's the shade of it right there. Just gorgeous. All right guys, so I'm gonna get out of here. If I had to say which one of these were the closest to the powder, I would definitely say the Duo of Madeloum. Um, is probably a dead ringer for the powder. Absolutely beautiful. It just really, really gives that very shiny. I'm doing that because you can tell how natural it is, how natural it looks on my skin. It doesn't look like I have gold highlighter or silver or anything in particular. All right, guys, so I'm going to get out of here. As always, I want to thank you so much for your support. Thank you for commenting, rating, and subscribing. I'll be in touch, and hopefully you'll do the same. Bye, guys.